You are now watching the Queen Chama. No way. She was fiending for this. I told her this shit don't taste good. I told her it don't taste good. I don't like it. So I got that fofo. Ah, you already see me. You see me. Me take a. Oh, it's hot. Oh, wow. Oh, ah. Oh, ah. All right. Smash it up. Throw it in there. It's like a dipping, right? Like that. Mm -mm. All right, what's up, y'all? So I went to this African restaurant and I'm about to try um this stuff. It's called fufu. It's called fufu. It look like D. A little ball. You know, it kind of like play doh a little bit. You know, it's kind of mushy and gooey and it got like a a weird little smell to it. But this is the um it's called light soup. I think it's um oxtail and something, but I'm gonna go ahead and give them a little try. So I guess all you gotta do is get your hands, you pull it up like this, like so, I guess, and then you just dip the inside the fufu like this. What the fuck? Oh no. So hey guys, I'm back with another video. So tonight's video is yet again another Chama Chats video podcast edition. So by the title, we are going to be talking about this viral story here on YouTube. So YouTuber Aaliyah J, who is primarily known for her makeup and fashion related videos, also has a channel with her boyfriend Menelik. Now these two decided to participate in the Fufu Challenge, which has been trending all over social media and primarily on TikTok. Now Fufu is an African cuisine that is also called pounded yam. Fufu and pounded yam is technically two different dishes as it is made up of different things but for the simplicity of this video i just wanted to point out that some people may use the terms interchangeably now according to google and myself fufu is a staple food common in many countries in west africa and central africa such as ghana sierra leone guinea liberia cote d'ivoire benin togo nigeria both congos cameroon the central african republic gabon and is also found in the caribbean so i am about a week late to address this tea but i was busy this weekend directing the photo shoot for my modeling agent Agency, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It is called The Queen Team Models. I will link it below. We'll be having more vlogs and a web series in the near future, so stay tuned. So anyway, the Fufu Challenge has taken over the internet, and as a Nigerian American, I was very triggered and feel completely disrespected to a certain extent. I'm just going to put this out there now. This will be a triggering video. My mouth is sharp, okay? And I'll be dragging the situation. Also, I did want to say that I am not, repeat, not against people not liking Fufu, let alone any food that is considered foreign i think from an american standard if you haven't tried fufu it is an acquired taste as for the smell i will agree that it's not going to be the most pleasant smell to the average non-fufu either the smell really comes from the soups and there are so many soups that can be eaten with fufu i don't think most non-africans or those who haven't tried fufu would really like it but i do think it's very good if you want a little booty go ahead and start eating the fufu go and chop it okay now where i take an issue is the select group of people not everybody but the select group of people who have used this challenge and turned it into a joke of my cultures as well as many other Africans. Aaliyah J has since apologized and taken accountability for participating in this challenge in the manner in which she did it but unfortunately the damage is kind of already done. So the video is now deleted but you know the internet doesn't let anything rest or slide at all so you know I definitely had the content. So I've broken my video down into three main talking points so let's get right into this video. So point number one is honestly y'all the disrespect. As a Nigerian girl who was raised by two Nigerian Igbo parents. I have tried a plethora of Nigerian food, obviously. I genuinely do not like all Nigerian food, but I also am a very picky either. So I don't like moin moin, I don't like akara, I know go chop it too, okay? But I also do not disrespect my culture, let alone anyone else's. Now I will say this, Aaliyah J didn't necessarily say or do anything 
wrong in her personal actions within the video. But given her large and very impressionable platform, I definitely think that it was a very disrespectful and tone deaf move on her part. She even said, do Africans eat shrimp? like what like 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 seriously like that's like asking do americans eat chicken like honestly that was just a dumb question i'm sorry africa is a continent of 54 countries and thousands of tribes cultures and languages i don't like how many americans are honestly still so let's be real kind of dumb when it comes to africa there are so many americans that don't understand that africa is a continent it is not a country when people used to say can you speak african or say something in african or oh yeah you african right that's like saying oh you're north american American, so yeah, you must like this than a third. When North America is made up of the United States, Canada, and Mexico, it doesn't make any sense to generalize a continent of people with hella freaking countries, okay? That doesn't make any sense. Now her nut ass boyfriend, honey, the disrespect. There is absolutely no reason for anyone to compare any food of any culture to dog food. Does it look good? That do not look good to me, I'm sorry. I really thought that one looked like dog food to me. I'm sorry. No disrespect. No, it. it this is not only disrespectful to Africans who eat fufu, but other nations within the Caribbean and so forth. He literally stuffed all the fufu in his mouth and then spat it out. Texture like that. That is so nasty, Menelik. <laughs> Let me do it on TikTok. No, that's that one guy. Yo, there's one guy on TikTok, he be like, and he take a. <laughs> oh my God, I couldn't do that. And I'm supposed to excuse this because he's African and he's Kenyan? Like, boy, bye. Like, not to discredit, bull, but since when? I bet most people didn't even know that Metalik is Kenyan, okay? It's not like, you know, they put out that, oh, yeah, he's Kenyan, he's Kenyan. All of a sudden, they're doing an African-based challenge. Now he's Kenyan, okay. A part of me feels like the disclaimer that he is African and or Kenyan was put in there to alleviate all of the disrespect, but not on my watch and my Ayanla Van Zant voice. Like, Metalik, if you're African-African, then you know you're not supposed to chew fufu. You scoop the soup and swallow it, okay? Literally, this is gaslighting other people to join this trend and allow for more disrespect, less unity, and actually put more of a divide between ADOS and non-ADOS. Like, you cannot scream unity and turn around and do things like this. Nobody's culture, regardless if they're black or not, should be seen as a joke or as content. That has never slid with the Kim Kardashian or the bad baby or whatever, but somehow when the disrespect is turned onto Africans who are kin folks with ADOS, I just can't let it slide either, okay? I just can't. I really try to be unifying and not biased as a first generation Nigerian American because I know firsthand what it's like to be immersed in two cultures on a daily basis. The same energy has to be kept at all times for me though. If I'm going to call out Bad Baby and Kim Kardashian, I'm going to call out the perpetrators of this trend as well. How can we all come from the same place? Some left, some were forced to leave, some took their own lives to combat being a slave. But in the present day, we are so far gone as a people that after the marches, after the BLM protests, after the Democratic win for the American presidency, that obviously most black people, regardless of origin, were in favor of. How the hell do we still do stuff like this? Like, let's keep it a bean. And I thought by now we would understand not to disrespect the diversity of people's culture. But for this to be primarily ADOS people doing this to a component of African culture, I'm honestly shocked and very sad. Like, honestly, I am. And because I haven't seen every challenge, maybe not all the people who participated in this challenge were very disrespectful, but the bad cops always override the good cops in the public opinion. So in this case, a few bad apples that made this trend allow for more negative exploitation are really not helping the diaspora war. It's insulting and it doesn't matter whose culture it is. Kim Kardashian has been called out for cultural appropriation on countless occasions and I have made videos about that. So again, this time when it's interracial per se, I will still keep that same energy. Moving on with more disrespect, why are people slapping the fufu like it's a pack of Marlboro Red cigarettes? A little ball. You know, it kind of like Play-Doh a little bit. Oh my god. Let's smell it. It just smells like potatoes. You smack it like that? No, you beat it. Babe, you're beating on it. Ooh. It's like a like a titty almost. Like that step is not a part of the fufu eating process. Like I really am not opposed to someone not liking fufu, but to tarnish the name and smack it around like it's a toy. People have always said don't play with your food. 
So like, why? I know it looks like Play-Doh. As kids, we used to do that. But as a grown person with decorum for people, you shouldn't do that. It's not right. Imagine someone throwing around soul food. Nobody would be cool with that. And honestly, I don't see what exactly is nasty about fufu alone because fufu alone doesn't taste like anything, okay? It literally has no taste. It's the soup of your choice that gives it its flavor. It's like rice. The rice really has no flavor until you eat it with a stew or a stir fry or put seasoning on it or whatever. I just feel like this makes people relive the trauma of being called African booty scratcher, people asking me to speak African people coming up to me and talking in clicks and telling me to tell them what they just clicked to me and people saying ah wah wah or people calling me kunta kente I already went through the African stink we stink their food that they eat stinks Africans are this and that like I did that but now it's okay to be African and I'll get into that a little bit more but I just feel like the disrespect of Africans is really weird when almost everything just about black culture anywhere comes from Africa because guess what we're all the same people and guess what black people come from Africa Fulani braids Senegalese twists dashikis gold Gold beads in hair, kente fabric, waist beads. All of these things have made their way into a level of popularity within Black America. So let's not allow the food or cuisine to be disrespected when there are so many aspects of African culture that is already infiltrated into Black culture everywhere. And that's what makes Black people so lit. We have so many cultures worldwide and we have the ability to do more as a unit, but disrespect on both sides continues to happen. I'm not here for him calling the food dog food. I'm not here for this challenge allowing people to try indigenous African food, but failing to keep it a friendly challenge and it going sour and I'm definitely not here for people using a big component of cuisine eaten by many African cultures to go viral which brings me to point number two now point number two is the clout chase when I say clout is one hell of a drug I am not lying I say that time and time again in my videos and I'm not lying why would anybody gag and heave over food for views now i know Aaliyah j's channel has altered over the years and she records her relationship to you know garner in extra engagement and relevance which is cool but nah sis and i really love Aaliyah j she's honest to me she's funny she seems like a really nice young woman but this right here was not cool like i said before she didn't really say anything wrong in the video but she has a big platform so it's like inciting a riot more people are going to feel comfortable to do this trend and clout chase and do so by being disrespectful and as for her boyfriend and for him to be calling the food nasty but licking his frolicking phalange fingers to lick off the soup, he was visibly enjoying the food, okay? It was just a force for the clout. For Aaliyah to be black and one of the few OG black beauty YouTubers and understand that she was really a pioneering member of black beauty vlogging on the internet through YouTube, this was very tone deaf and really hurtful. I was really actually pretty disappointed that in the name of clout and views that she recorded this and posted this. Aaliyah, you know you don't have to do this for clout, the views, or this attention. People love you without the challenges and force of doing all of this with your boyfriend your brand wasn't gonna get any bigger for doing this the clout chase these days is so crazy because half the time the people who are doing it don't even need to do it i don't care if you don't like fufu there are certain soups that i don't like with fufu but the same way that we as black women get mad at white girls who use components of being a black girl from our hairstyles the slang we use the nails that they say is ghetto the hoop earrings that actually derive from africa and more we literally say my blackness is not a trend i've heard that phrase so many times in so many of my comments so what is the difference now clout because nobody deserves to get clout from disrespecting someone else's culture and trying to profit off of it i didn't get the point of the challenge because i don't think it was done out of genuine curiosity it was done for views and to go viral and trend for reasons that are all around not positive to sit down and film a controversial video and then be surprised when you get backlash is just really dumb to me like i was just really disappointed and honestly the nigerian restaurants have been making moolah while people gag for clout so i mean i guess it is what it is now my third and final point is the hypocritical cultural component now 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 okay let's let, let's be real oh. let's be real okay let's sit down sit down let's let's let's, let's talk Using another culture's values, traditions, and cultural aspect to trend and go viral on the internet is definitely a level of cultural appropriation, if you ask me. And I feel this way not because the trend was placed into, I guess, Black internet culture to be used for personal gain by many social media users, but because the hypocrisy is not fair. Y'all do not know how many DMs, emails, and personal requests I get to drag all of these non-Black people for wearing Black hairstyles, Black styles, Black trends, etc. But now that the groups of Black people are doing this one another there is a bit more silence than there is outrage i even have people in my comments from my community tab saying i don't understand what's the big deal okay they didn't like it are you are you daft are you mods 
Think about it. Think about if somebody took box braids, cut it out of a black woman's hair, and was like, oh, I'm about to use these box braids and glue them onto a pole and use them to clean my kitchen floor and sweep the floor. How would y'all feel? So it's very hypocritical that there's a lot more silence than there is outrage. It just is. Now, this is understandable as the issue pertains to Africans who are minority black people in the United States or elsewhere, but still, wrong is wrong. There is no different than Kim Kardashian wearing cornrows and calling it boxer braids. I feel like people don't understand that the disrespect to non-American cultures is more than people think. As a Nigerian American, I can honestly say that most Americans, regardless of their race or class, and I'm going to say that again, Americans, not just Black Americans, not Latino Americans, not Asian Americans, not white Americans, just Americans in general, for those in the back that's going to twist the words, have an issue with foreign people, foreign policies, and foreigners. And I feel like, you know, it is what it is. I mean, it is what it is. They say America is a melting pot. People come here from all different walks of life. So yeah, people that are indigenous to this country are going to feel a little bit of a ways of people who are not from here. I feel like that's anybody. But Americans in particular, I feel like from what I've noticed, take it a little bit more seriously. Aaliyah's video and other influencers' videos were done in very poor taste. In all fairness, please don't let Aaliyah and her boyfriend's ignorance generalize all African Americans or all ADOS people because I don't think that's fair either. But as dumb as this trend was, there were many African Americans and ADOS people who have the home training and know not to react like that about someone else's culture. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know your commentary below on my commentary. Please also follow my modeling agency on our Instagram page and you guys can also subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to follow me on all of my social media networks as well and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!